Hi there, today <clears throat> I've taken delivery of a Detect Ed uh, carbon fiber upper and lower shaft uh, for my MindLab Equinox detector and I'm really looking forward to unboxing and reviewing this product for you in this video. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. I was curious to know who is Detect Ed. Uh, apparently he's uh, based in New South Wales in Australia um, and he's a guy with a passion for metal detecting who began designing and developing premium metal detecting accessories. Um, his company has a strong focus on design and um, developing sort of uh, um, high-quality components that ensure durability uh, only using like premium materials. Um, I've obtained the the black LS carbon fiber upper and lower shaft. Um, I believe the LS stands for land and sea uh, which make it ideal for underwater and, and land detecting. It's lightweight uh, sort of no wobble <coughs> uh, and strong design um, uh, is is a real improvement over the over the existing um, aluminium and plastic upper and lower uh, shafts that come standard with the Knox. I think the Knox is an awesome machine, but in order to offer it at the kind of price point that they do, um, I got uh, the sort of impression that they skimped a little bit on the fittings. Um, and spent most of the money on the on the actual control box and the coil, etc. So the Knox definitely seems to have a few weaknesses. Um, I would say there are four major weaknesses that I've heard of. The one is the coil coil ears that that snap off. Um, the other is that the shaft starts to wobble, and 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 can actually lead to to false falsing signals um and and becomes you know it can you it, it can kind of twist in your hand and wobble and and just feel sloppy uh due to wear and tear even with my new uh my new equinox shaft i find every now and again i have to stop and retighten uh, everything to stop it from from wobbling um Another weakness is that the arm cuff tends to snap on a lot of, uh, over time, the arm cuff tends to snap and of course Detect Ed have a permanent solution for that with an aluminium arm cuff rather than a, than a thin plastic one. Um, and the fourth thing which is probably quite rare, um, the, at the moment the only guys in Cape Town who can supply uh, the Detect Ed uh, shaft is uh, Treasure Hunters. And I, I, I got this from Chris Twine at Treasure Hunters. And Chris says he's never had a Knox leak, but I've, I've heard, I've seen online on the groups that <clears throat> occasionally, um, sometimes after a couple of years or sometimes straight away, as soon as the guys uh, submerge the, the control box, it, it tends to leak. Although if it's under warranty, of course, MindLab have excellent customer service and they'll replace it. But those are the four weaknesses that I've heard of is the coil ears breaking, the shaft wobbling, the arm cuff snapping and occasional leak on the control box. Um, and yeah, so I've, you know, by, by slightly pimping up my, my new machine, I got um, a coil stiffeners <coughs> and uh, that will help to eliminate the snapping of the coil. And, uh, and then I also got... Um, uh, well, I've got this new shaft now, um, which is going to totally eliminate all the wobble and make it nice and stiff and crisp um, when I'm swinging. When I'm swinging. Um, another thing that uh, we'll get to a little bit later is is the is the drainage holes, 
the, the pros and cons of having holes in your shaft, but we'll talk about that when we come to that part of the, uh, of the video. So the first thing you want to do is start removing the components from your machine. Um, there's just a little bit of sand on it from the beach, but I'll clean it once it's Okay, so this is the uh, Allen key um, that's uh, been supplied with the detected shaft to remove the control box. I think in the Americans call it a hex key as opposed to an Allen key. Um, here's the stiffener that I've been uh, that I'm using to just protect the coil ears, um, and you'll notice the huge difference between. Um, the detect ed shaft which is this one I'm holding in my hand now and you'll see all the holes in the mine lab shaft now those holes are the ones that let in the sand and the water uh, whereas the mine lab shaft doesn't have those holes um, uh, the mine lab shaft needs all these holes in order to uh, make the small adjustments necessary to get the shaft to the right length whereas because the uh, the detect edge shaft slides continuously in and out. Uh, you can adjust it infinitely more without any holes. And so those holes prevent um, uh, stuff getting in and it does have a drainage hole to allow stuff to get out. Okay, when I, dis when I removed all the components uh, from the original shaft, I decided to pull off the coil cover uh, just to give it a good wash it's a good idea to do it from time to time if you've never done it before it's quite difficult there's a little lip um, uh, going all the way around which you need to unclick the coil cover from that little lip all the way around then over here and over here uh, you need to unclip that and over here and over here you need to unclip that so uh, just remember when it comes on that um, this thick part here needs to coincide with uh, where the uh, cable comes in to the coil. Um, make sure that they all fit nicely and then slowly go around the edges in a reverse fashion clicking the coil cover back on on the outside and once you've clicked it on on the outside You can then click these central parts. You can hear a very positive click as they come home. Um, it's quite difficult to remove it the first time, first couple of times actually, uh, but I'm sure it gets easier as time goes by. And it's a good idea just to remove it every now and again and wash out all the fine sand and bits of shell that get caught. Um, and inside the coil cover. Um, in fact, if you've got black sand or some other material inside your coil cover, you might even get noise and false signals. Okay, once you've got the lower shaft uh, off the coil, uh, you have to remove these little uh, rubber washers that go in there because you're going to need to put those onto your detect edge shaft. Um, here is the detect ed lower shaft 
um, and if you have a look comparing the two shafts you'll see that the detect ed one this one here um, has a drainage hole um, at the bottom which uh, the mine lab one doesn't have so this little drainage hole is really useful because if you do happen to get any water or sand um, in your, your shaft um, uh, it'll just drain out um, I found that when I was detecting um, the other day and I was sort of going waist deep into the water um, when I started to get into the shallow water and when I got back onto the beach I noticed that the detector was very um, heavy and it was only later when I sort of um, lifted the detector up to switch it off that all this water dribbled out out of all the other holes and uh, so what sometimes happens is the bottom of the of the plastic shaft that you get on the mine lab fills up with water and sand and there's no way for it to come out and so you're swinging it along and suddenly your your detector weighs quite a lot more than it used to um, the uh, I believe the the mine lab shaft weighs 100 grams and the detect ed lower shaft weighs 50 grams so it's exactly half the weight uh, of the stock standard shaft that comes with it okay i've replaced um, these three shafts with uh, the two shafts of the detect ed um, uh, the upper length is about 32 and a half inches um, and the lower about 24 and a quarter inches. So you've eliminated one joint that already makes it stiffer, but I can't believe how stiff it is and how simple it is to work this lever, <coughs> this lever cam. It's 100% carbon fiber, giving it great scratch resistance. And uh, the upper stock is about 35% lighter than, the, than the, the stock shaft. In other words, 120 grams as opposed to 186 grams. And as I said before, the lower one is 100 gra uh, sorry, is 50 grams compared to uh, uh, 100 grams of this uh, plastic shaft. Um, it collapses basically to a short 170 mils. Uh, which is ideal for water and transport. Um, the new clamp system is uh, an injection molded um, component uh, and it's extremely oop, excuse me, extremely durable and hard, uh, hard wearing, hard clamping. Uh, the metal components you see in there are high quality stainless steel um, stainless steel 316 uh, for for corrosion resistance it's not going to rust um, and it provides a strong crisp sort of swing with no wobble um, yeah the easy installation I simply removed the control box and then with the allen key provided um, and I removed the arm cuff which you can do with your fingers and um, I believe the coil connector design significantly reduces coil ear wear, which means your coil ears are less likely to snap. And um, so, swinging it around uh, in my little lockdown flatcher, it feels a hang of a lot lighter and a lot more comfortable. And, um, and I think that I'm really going to enjoy uh, using it. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.